Welcome to module 18. In this module, we're going to be deploying uh, the app that we created in the previous module to the Google Play Store. Through the previous modules, we created a simple blog app which should work as follows. The first page is an authentication page wherein we are presented with the option to sign in or register. Let's sign in using our username and password, IMAD and IMAD. The next page is an article list page. After signing in, we're presented with a list of articles that we have in our database. On clicking any of these articles, we're taken to an article detail page which has a back button. On clicking which we are, we are taken back to the previous page, we have the heading of the article in the toolbar and then the detailed description of the article. We also have a logout button on the toolbar, clicking on which we are uh, taken back to the authentication page. Okay, now let's publish this app to the Google Play Store. Publishing your app on the Google Play Store is quite a straightforward process. It starts by you creating an account at the Google Play Developer Console and then um, paying the $25 developer account registration fee. And then we need to generate a signed APK for, our, for the app that we have just developed. Let's see how we can do that. Signing your APK is important. You basically create a public and private key and then use this public key certificate to sign your app. What this public key certificate does is that it uniquely identifies you as the owner of that APK. This ensures that nobody else can release an update to your app on the Google Play Store. Now let's see how we can generate a signed APK using Android Studio. For that go to build, click on generate signed APK, next. And now if you do not have a key store, click on create new. Go to the path in which you want the key store to be generated. In my case, I'm going to select the desktop and give a name to this key store. Let's call it IMAD blog. This is the password to be used for the key store. Let that be anything that you choose. Give the key store file an alias. Key. And similarly, give it a password. This is the validity of this of this key store, which can which is by default 25 years. Uh, you can increase or decrease it to your liking. And then this is just normal information for the certificate that you're going to use to sign your app. This will not be shown anywhere else but associated with your APK. Click on remember passwords and click next. Check on V1 jar signature and to read more about V1 and V2, click on signature help and you'll be directed to a link wherein a more detailed explanation about this would be given. Make sure your build type is set to release and click on finish. Okay, once Android Studio has generated the signed APK, keep a note of where your APK is saved. And now let's go on to the Google Developer Console. If you've registered properly and paid the developer fee, you will be presented with this page. Click on Publish an Android app on Google Play. Let the default language be English and give the title as IMAD. Let it be IMAD blog. Click on Create. Now first thing, go to Manage Releases. Scroll down to Manage Production. Click on Create Release and click on up upload apk browse files and select our apk let the apk upload and once that is done just click on save draft next thing to do is go to store listing one second click on save Give a short description about the app. Give a full description. Next thing is to submit screenshots and icons for your app. Um, I already have a few screenshots and, 
and random icons selected for this. The thing to keep in mind is that the high res icon and the feature graphic are mandatory fields and they have a specific size and type associated with them. So you have to make sure that the image that you upload is of this type. Finally, select an application type, whether it's an application or a game, as is an application, and select a category for our app. I would just select education. And then provide your contact details. If you have a website, provide the website link. If you have a phone number, give your phone number. And your email ID is a mandatory field. Similarly, for privacy policy, um, you can have a website which shows your privacy policy. Or for now, let's just say not submitting a privacy policy. And let's save this. This is the content rating that we have to provide for our app. Provide an email address. Confirm that email address. And select, the, select your app category. So I'm gonna say utilities, while in material, no. Sexual material or nudity, no. Potentially offensive language, no. Control substance, no. So basically just read through all of this and uh, select the appropriate answers for that relate to your app. In my case, everything is a no. And then apply rating. Basically, this is saying the type of rating for different places. All right, next go to price and distribution. Select the free tire. Make it available for every country, or you can individually select the countries that you want it to be unavailable for. And uh, you have to select whether you're showing ads in your app, and we are not. The device categories that we support, none of these. Google Play for Education, we don't want that. This is asking whether you do not want Google Play to promote your app. That's not true. Content guidelines, it meets it. US exports laws, true. After you've done that, save the draft. And now we still don't have the publish icon. So let's see why that is. So it's saying that you need to add at least two non Android TV screenshots. So let's go to a store listing and see where that is. So we need to select, we need to have, add a screenshot for a tablet and a 7 inch and a 10 inch tablet. So I'm going to add the same screenshot. In this case, you're supposed to run your app on a 7 inch and a 10 inch tablet and then take the screenshots. Okay, and once you've done everything right, you will get this button which says ready to publish. Click on ready to publish and click on manage releases. Let's see what this version code and release name is. Let's go to our Android app. Go to your build.gradle file. And as you can see, there is a version code and version name provided here. For every update you release, you have to increment this version code. It has to be greater than the previous version code. And the version name can remain the same, but this is just to track the version name of the app on your Play Store. Okay. And click on review. And just click on start rollout to production. Click on confirm. Your app will get live on the Google Play Store in a few hours. All right, and that's it. This is how you release an app to the Google Play Store. With this, we come to the end of the Android application development series. Through the various modules in this series, we learned about the Android ecosystem. We created our own blog app, and we published this blog app to the Google Play Store. What remains is uh, to know how to release updates. Um, releasing updates is also quite straightforward, and, and it's a similar process. You simply have to sign in to your Google Developer Console 
and go to manage releases and create and upload a new APK. The only thing that you have to make sure of is, is that you have to increase the version code by one and also sign the APK with the same key store file that you created while uploading the first APK. It's very important that you keep your um, key store file in a very safe place and do not share it with anyone or do not lose it. Because if you lose your key store file, um, then you will not be able to upload any more updates to your app. And if somebody else gets your key store file, then he'll be easily able to release updates in your name.